Yeah, good morning, Hector. Estoy bien. Eh, muy eh, feliz de eh, estar aquí en eh, el Matalén. Muy, muy feliz. What are you doing here? Um, I am running around the world and um, Matalén is the next step. So, so I'm very happy to be here and um, the tourism people here are taking good care of me. And, um, so I'm, I'm running around the world. But, but why are you running around? Why am I running? And it is not from an old care friend or wife. But, <laughs> but uh, it, is, it is just my dream to run around the world because I, before I was an extreme runner, I was a marathon runner, and before of that I cycled around the world. So I do not like to do easy things. Uh, everything I do in life has to have a challenge and um, so I got this idea more than 20 years ago so I say why okay, no, why not and um, so here I am. But uh, you are looking for something? Uh, am I looking for something? Uh, not, not, not particularly, I, I want to see the world, I want to meet the many many wonderful people in the world because Almost all the time the media writes bad things about the people in the world, but I, I do not believe that. For me, almost everybody in the world is good. And um, so I have set out to restore the wonderful people of the world. And um, I'm an extreme runner, so for me, it's, this is normal, is to run. So that's what I'm doing. I figure the, the best way to see the world is, is not the end, my foot. And um, so here I am, I have more or less almost 10,000 kilometers I've run since I left Dublin in um, October of last year, 2010. It is my plan to finish uh, this world run after five continents and 50,000 kilometers in, in uh, October 2014 at the Dublin Marathon in Ireland. And um, so I'm having a great time. Thanks very much to uh, the great, the wonderful people in uh, Sonora and uh, also in Baja where I was before. And I'm sure I'm going to have a great time all the way through Sonora and um, through Mexico. And um, Baja ferries were so good to me. They gave me a, a place on, on, on the ferry from the past to Madeleine. And also a Freeman Hotel here in Madeleine. And everybody, I've only been here a couple of hours and everybody here I met. Thank you so, so much at home. It's, it's incredible. Everybody loves Tony and Madison. And Tony, is that the best way to know the world? Yeah, it's quite cool. Yes. I think so. I what think what so. did you saw, for example, in Canada, in the United States, in now, what did you see in Mexico? What the Mexico? Well, well, um, for me, for me, travel is, is, is about people. It's not necessarily about um, it's not about Niagara Falls or the Golden Gate Bridge or Empire State or anything like that. It's about people, and um, so I found wonderful people everywhere, and uh, and, um, and 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 um, the Mexican people are just unbelievable. They treat me like I'm their son. They want my journey to happen. They, everybody wants to help me to to run around the world in Mexico. And, um, it's it's and I ran down through Baja, uh, 1,650 kilometers, I think, and it was so incredibly beautiful. And um, I have only arrived in, in uh, Sonora only a couple of hours ago, and so I have to be honest. I do not know much, uh, but I'm sure I will see a lot in the next week or so I'll be here. Um, I plan to run down along the coast mm -hmm. all the way up through Mexico. Um, the way in your opinion, um, the difference between um, Canadian, America and Mexico. Do you have a, an idea? Well, well, uh, in, in, uh, between Canada and the United States, uh, me as a European, I do not see much difference. Maybe Canada is more metric 
past few years. Um, um, the United States is more like big brother to Canada, and 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 uh, obviously uh, Mexico is a much poorer country, but the people are just as good. In in North America, I have to be on. I have to be in, in, in the United States and Canada. I have to be honest. A lot of people were telling me not to come to Mexico that there was a lot of problems. Well, they talk about crime and, and they talk about drug problems and, and, and I have to be honest, I was hearing this for seven months and I was at the border, I was terrified. And then more or less two hours after crossing the border, I said, it's not like this, it's wonderful. And I just came all the way through Baja, no problem. And uh, now I'm in similar state, and and, um, and I think to be honest with you, in the United States and Canada, there is a lot of I have to be careful about this. A lot of anti anti Mexican feeling, a lot of more or less racism. But people are listening to other people, but they are getting confused. Some people believe everything they hear. Okay. And um, so, so uh, some people believe everything they hear, admit, admit, uh, but this is not necessarily the case. Uh, Mexican people are the same as, as people from Canada and the United States and from any other country, my country, any other country in the world. Um, so I think it's important for um, people that work in tourism, they, they need to, um, to get the message out and this is a wonderful state, this is a wonderful country and um, it's no different than anywhere else in the world. Thank you for this word. Thank you for this word. Thank you very much. Well, I know that you are the young people with this, that you are people Oh, my charity. The, yeah, I, I, when I decided to run around the world, um, I decided, well, why am I doing this? Am I doing it for myself? Well, yes, but I do not want to be 100% selfish. I, I want to do put a portion of this towards um, a, a charity and um, um, to try and help an Irish charity that they, they, they get publicity so that people like us were talking about um, about people that have problems with uh, mental health issues and depression so um, it is it is not a subject that um, people should not talk about people should talk about it um, so it's I, I am just really just um, promoting the charity uh, that, that people should not treat people that have mental health problems any different to anybody else in the world. How is how is one day in the life of <laughs> in your life? Uh, one, day. It's one day in the life of somebody that's running around the world is almost every day is different. Uh, for example, yesterday I was sitting waiting for a ferry. Here I'm doing a press yes. conference. Yeah, here I'm, and and. and Tomorrow will be out running on the road, but I never know where I'm going to put my head, where I'm going to sleep. I never know, and I, ne I don't always know where I'm going to eat. Um, and when I'm on the road, sometimes I think the next town is a small town, there is nothing, and it's a big town. I never know, and, and um, I, I never know what's going to happen. And then there's always danger, uh, for example, trucks. Cars, um, and then um, the problems with the weather uh, in the cold weather or in the hot weather, like here. And I have to be careful that I drink enough water and electrolytes. But it's, sometimes it's difficult to get water. So it's, no two days are the same. It's every day has a different challenge. A beautiful day. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I wrote in my blog. Worldjob.com. I wrote. Even when I have a problem, I'm happy because I am living my dream. And um, so, so um, 
I'm, I'm so happy to be living this dream, even when there's problems. You know that way? <laughs> no, no. No, it would be different. <laughs> no, no, no wife and no jealous girlfriend and uh, no wife. Uh, I, and, and there was a couple of times I, I could have got married or settled down with a, with a, a lady, but, but I did not because I think at the back of my mind I was always thinking of running around the world and thinking of this for more than 20 years. It's, it's, never more than a few hours from my mind and all, I was always thinking about this. Well, most of the people that read my, my, my website are Mexicans. Yeah. What can you tell to them in Spanish? Uh, what can I tell them in Spanish? Um, by the uh, DCO is... We have a body, we have a you say you? when you have a dream? Sueño, sueño. Cuando tú tienes un sueño, no es para comer más o menos para 20, 20 años para vivir tu sueño. Ahora es ahora, ahora. Eh, sueño, live your dream, viva tu sueño ahora. No espere 20 años, dice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because in, in, in the past I met a man and his, his dream is to cycle, cycle in Baja and he said I must wait 10 years and this is a man that's free, has no wife, no children and he said I must wait 10 years and I say why and he said I must save the money and I said go on the road, your people will look after me and, and you're not even talking about getting a ferry, an airplane just go on the road, the people in the ranch house will take care of you and just maybe, if you need to cook rice and whatever. Well, he's waiting 10 years to live this and mm -hmm. it's the cycle by 1,600 kilometers or something like that. So I think many, many people, me too, look for excuses, reasons to say no. So, may I be easy out is horrid. This one. Ahora, ahora, ahora. Where are you going tomorrow? Um, más o menos 45 y, y, y 50 kilómetros sur de aquí. No sé dónde es. Necesito para mí de vista. There is, there is a beautiful town. Yeah. South. Yeah. Con el, el Rosario. El Rosario. 69 kilometers from here. The record is 75. I tell you something. They have a big party tomorrow. Big party. Gastronomical party. Gastronomical party. Yeah. I love to eat. If you want. Yeah. If you want to stop there. But tomorrow, is it on the next day? How many days is it? Ah, uh, de gastronómica es un día, ¿no? Ahora, mañana y pasado. Sí, pero que vaya un día. Ah, no, no, no. It has like three days long, that, that, yeah. that's it, but you can go one if you want. Yeah. One day if you want. Uh, no, no. Well, just if you want. No, no, if you it's want. It's too uh, far. It, it's, I, it's too far for me to run, and, uh, and, um, but, I, I, I don't know. Pro, yeah. Probably nobody see that you don't run. Many kilometers? 45 a day? Yeah. Did you record? No, 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 my record is 75. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow, no, no, for me, the most important yeah. thing, the most, for me, the most stay, important stay, thing stay, is, not, I, I, is focus, focus, yes. focus. Yes, no le gusta que lo empiecen a mover así, porque él tiene que concentrarse en lo que hace. That's good. That's why I'm in the Yeah. Eh, no, 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 este, eh, pues esto es entrevista, digo, nada más eh, me, quer, me querían preguntar aquí las chicas. When you decide to support the, the Aware Foundation, yeah. it was for a reason, and especially the, why you decide to support that foundation? Uh, because uh, in the past, when I was uh, fundraising for uh, 
uh, charities, uh, I, I fundraise for, for example, for a children's charity, and 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 everybody was uh, giving to the charity because mm -hmm. it's an emotional charity. Mm -hmm. uh, cancer is also an emotional charity, and I noticed that there were many many other charities that did not get uh, support, support, emotional support. So I I, I think. Um, uh, I hate to say it, but it was like less sexy charity, mm -hmm. not so. Uh, uh, but, but I thought that they could do with some help, and, and the fact that we are talking about it now, and uh, he's going to have it on his website, and then all the journalists here, uh, yeah, all of these things help. So, so, um, and and I, as you can see, I'm, I'm a great lover of people. And everybody is the same, the richest man in the world or the poorest man in the world or somebody that has a mental health issue, I, I hope or shake hands with everybody, nobody is different to me. So sometimes people that have uh, mental health problems, it's just like they might have a problem with their arm or their foot, they go to a doctor, they just need help. Mm -hmm. But there is a stigma, there is a, a bias towards them. Um, prejudice towards them and um, it's just to get people to talk about these issues. But uh, you, don't, you don't commit the decision about a special issue regarding for example a familiar, a friend of you. Oh, do uh, I have a specific that has reason? A, that no. has a little bit of depression no. and you, you decide to, to take care. No, uh, no, I, I don't it was have just because any, it wasn't no, the no, yes, or sexist well, of, of all the people. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I don't have um, any, any um, Experience and I don't have any family or mm -hmm. any and 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 and, and, and some people uh, this is a bad joke but they say you're running around the world you're crazy and I said well this is the charity I'm running for and then they stop laughing yeah. so I'm making a point you know yeah. uh, but sometimes people like to make a connection between what I'm doing and my charity yes uh, but, um, um, so, so, so that's that's yes. the reason. Uh, it's a good one. Yeah. Um, no, I, I could say well, I'm I'm doing it for um, breast cancer or for children's charity or whatever. And um, but I I chose that charity because I I felt that they need some more help. That um, as I said when I was fundraising for children's charities and collecting. People were giving money very, very fast, and you see, you see. I told you earlier on about the people taking the hand out of their pocket and changing their mind, and the donations to the charity on my website are very low, and so people need to start talking about it and, and helping the charities. And yeah. you remember when you began uh, supporting this foundation? Yeah. Do you remember when did you begin? Well, I. I I more or less, I more or less, yeah, this, yeah. Well, this this time last year, more or less, I was in Ireland and, and I departed in October. But this time last year, beginning of August, I was really busy. So uh, and uh, and uh, one year before that, two years ago, I was um, um, listening to them on the radio. So I listened to a lot of talk mm -hmm. radio, and I heard the people from the organisation talking about. The problems they have, uh, the stigma. Uh, you understand the word stigma. Yes, the, yeah. the problems they have, and, 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 and I said, why is that? People all around the world are the same, and um, so so I just I had more or less one year to think about it from two years before to one year when I was getting really ready to go. So it, it more or less developed in my mind that um, that over the one year that um, uh, that there's a lot of stigma, there's a lot of um, prejudice against people that have mental health issues and as I said, I'm a great believer in, in, uh, in that everybody is the same. It, it doesn't matter um, what country you're from or, or your mental health or your colour of your skin or anything. Mm -hmm. It's religion, we're all the same. Yeah. People are the same. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, your name again? Hector. 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 Nice to meet you. And please don't forget my website. Will you mention? Yeah. Thank you.